guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to create a stained wood necklace. So um, in order to do this, I have started with these quarter inch dowels that I cut down and I just did three different sizes. So I have a smaller one, one that's a little bit bigger and then a, a larger one to go in the center. Um, I took some sandpaper and um, sanded them, so I'll show you. So when I did that, um, I just sanded all of the sides like this, just rubbing it on there. So the sides I sanded and the corners and the top so that everything is kind of has a, a rounded edge. Um, and then from there, I stained them um, and I used this Minwax wood finish. Um, the color that I chose is espresso. Um, and then I sealed them after that, and I just brushed that on with a paintbrush. Um, and then I sealed them with this fast drying polyurethane, the clear gloss. So once I finished, these um, became these. So they are, like I said, the edges are rounded, they're stained, and they're sealed. Um, so from here, what I wanna do is I want to attach them all together and then I'm going to put a strip of this copper washi tape um, on here to kind of <clears throat> hold them all in place. Um, and then I am going to put a little screw eye on each side like this and attach the chain. Um, so from here, what I'm gonna do, and you have two options, um, you could do either hot glue or um, if you wanted to, you could use some um, super glue, but for the sake of the tutorial, I don't wanna make you wait forever, so I'm going to use hot glue. So I'm gonna run a little bead of that on the back, and I'm going to press these two together. And then, trying to make sure I don't have any loose pieces here. Um, and then this one, I'm gonna put on there as well. And you could do these, you know, however staggered you want. Um, another thing is instead of, instead of using the washi tape, if you wanted to, you could incorporate metal um, so I think like that's good. Um, so if you wanted to wrap a band of metal around it instead, you certainly could do that. So I've got this. Now I'm going to take my tape and wrap that band if I can find where my tape starts. just like that, pressing it down completely. And then I'm gonna trim it and let it wrap around the back and overlap. Okay, just like that. So now I am going to attach a little screw eye on each side. Um, when I do that, I like to use this little tiny hand, like manual drill first. So I'm gonna go right on the copper tape, right through it and into the wood and I'm going back and forth, just kind of Drilling a little hole, trying not to stab myself. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. And I may have to go a little bit more in if I didn't get it in all the way. 
This just helps the screw eye because those are so tiny that they're hard to grab onto. And so they make it a little bit difficult to put in. Once you get them started, then they're not difficult, especially in wood. You may have seen another tutorial where I did this with concrete and those are so hard to do. Um, resin is really easy to get them into. And the wood, like I said, once you get it going, it's not hard. It looks, I think mine, this one caught on now, so we should be good. And I want it to go all the way in like that. I'm going to take my pliers and straighten that out so I have my little hook like that. Um, if you want it to be, you know, if you want it to run vertically, you can as well. It kind of just depends how you want your chain to hook on. So you can twist it to adjust it after if you need to. So let me hook on this one. And I did <clears throat> one of these with painted wood um, in another tutorial. Um, not this exact same concept, but um, I used a like a rectangular wood bead and painted it and added some washi tape. Um, and I I like that, but I really prefer the stained wood. It just looks more natural. So I'm trying to get that hole dug out a little bit. So what I'm going to do once I eventually get this to catch on here is I am going to attach a chain on both sides and I have my chain already cut to length. This side is giving me trouble. There we go. Just kidding. Um, Hold on, I'm gonna do this and then come back here. Okay, so I've got that one there, sorry, my hands were slippery. I was doing a tutorial for resin and my rubber gloves that I had on were making my hands slippery. Okay, so we've got this part done here so you can see what this part looks like and now I'm going to attach the chain segments and I already have these put together um, with a clasp on the end and I'm just going to hook these on with a jump ring. So I'm going to take my jump ring, hook my chain on, and then hook that onto um, the eye pin, sorry, the screw eye. Like this, and I'm using very small, um, very small jump rings. I don't like big ones sticking out there. Two pairs of pliers to close this up. And it's so tiny, it's kind of hard to work with here. Okay, so we've got one side. And then we are going to put on the other. Again, little tiny jump ring, hook on the chain, and then hook it on the screw eye, and close that up. Like that. And so that is the finished necklace which I think is super cute and like I said if you want to turn these little screw eyes you certainly could if you prefer them to be um, instead of facing forward if they would be like this um, you can do that 
um, if you're unsure how to finish the end of your um, chain with the jump rings and that, make sure you check out my tutorial on how to use a jump ring. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.